Okay, the surgery will be done in the afternoon by Dr. Daniel. Now the temperature I take and then I feel the bladder, I just check and uh, that's why you do. And uh, okay, we'll just show that the uh, okay, temperature is 39.3, rectal temperature. The dog is eating and drinking. Mm, yeah. Yeah, but oh, drinking okay. a lot, right? Yes. The urine a lot. Urine a lot. With blood. Yeah, early in the morning. Uh, but the stool is normal, right? Normal, yes. Okay, temperature is normal because the dog has been on antibiotics for, for the past one week before, uh, before surgery. Now, I'm palpating the bladder. This is a female dog and she doesn't feel so happy because it's painful. But definitely there's a big lump here, there's a big lump. And this lump is quite hard. It's quite hard, it's like full of stones. I mean, you want to put your finger here? And even the owner can feel it. Mm. Something hard. Please, the stone. No, the whole bladder full of stone. Oh. It's probably not one stone. You feel it? Yeah. Oh, from one end to the other end, it's more than three centimeters. You hear the click, 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 the gritty sound. Uh. So, in theory, there's a lot of stone. So, what we want to x ray is to x ray the bladder see that, uh, and, and the kidney. See whether there is any stone in the kidney. So, now what I do is uh, I will be x raying the dog. Before that, I will. Check the heart first, see whether there's any uh, abnormal, abnormal heart beat or heart problems or heart disease. Is the dog coughing? No. No coughing, huh? Anytime, no, never cough. Am I? Never. The heart rate is okay. The lungs? Also alright. He has a good appetite. Mm. Now this dog is about five years old, but uh, it looks a bit fat, but it's not really fat compared to the other diabetes, diabetes dog. No, the diabetes dog is much fatter, although almost the same weight. Now, the, the, the other check is, I will check the mucous membrane, see whether it's uh, anemic or not. Only I just open up here and let's see. Capillary refill time is quite okay. Huh? The dental skin had been done last week. The color is okay. So now, what I'll do is uh, I go through the blood test and urine test with her. So, from the blood test and urine test taken seven days later of this dog with polydipsia and polyuria. Uh, the urine test shows that the pH is 7, SG 1.08, and uh, no crystals. No crystals does, does not mean that there is no, uh, no urinary stones, as you can feel it. Then the blood test shows last week a very high white blood cell count and a very high neutrophil. So this shows that the dog had a bacterial infection of the blood uh, last week. Was, he, was she eating? Was, was she eating at the time? She was still eating? Yeah. And why do you come because of the blood in the urine or yes. because of the and also because she keep urine very frequently. For how long? Once she eats she will want to go and urine. Uh, for how long? One week or for the last uh, since I took her in. How long was that? Two weeks already. Two weeks after adoption, right? Yeah. So somebody abandoned this dog I presume. Yeah, right. Somebody don't want it because uh, they, they probably know that uh, she's sick. Uh, she's sick and it costs money to uh, to remove the stones. She's probably just abandoned the dog. Okay, now so we are talking about the uh, the urine uh, urine test shows blood four plus a bit of white blood cell and red blood cell and uh, bacteria, but no crystals. So in in many cases where this is the urine test, the urine test shows no crystals, but actually it's not does not mean there's no stone. So in this case there are stones. The pH is uh, about seven. It's uh, likely the stones could be through white stones. So the purpose actually is to see whether there are any stones in the kidney as well. Because even if you remove all the other blood stones, you still have to know whether there are kidney stones or not. Mm. So uh, the, other than that, this dog is quite uh, healthy, uh, fit for surgery. So surgery will be done by Dr. Dana this afternoon, January 16, 2014, Topayo Vets. Okay, cool.